I suppose I first discovered that I was good at eating when I was probably a lot younger. I've always had a big appetite. I did hold the, the world record for most Big Macs eaten, which was 17 in just under an hour, I think. I um, hold the Yorkshire Pudding Eating World Championship. I ate 43 in three minutes. I'm really not daunted by the amount of food. I love to eat a lot, so the bigger the eating challenge, usually the better. The rules are basically eat it as fast as you can, um, and obviously everything has to be finished. My name is Adam, I'm 30 years old. By day I work for a retail stockbroker. So I got into competitive eating um, around 18 months ago. Um, I just kind of got the bug from there. So basically the way that I trained is that I only eat for around an hour every day. So most uh, of the time I'll fast for 23 hours of a day and then eat one big meal, which is usually 12 pounds of food or so, which is more than most people probably in a week. And uh, just try and eat that as fast as possible. Yeah, of course, competitive eating is uh, dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. It's something you really have to gradually build up to. My name's Mark, I'm 25 years old. I work in the entertainment industry, and my hobby is competitive eating. I've done like many burger challenges, like I've done ice cream challenges, I've done a 32 inch pizza. I eat extremely quick. The food just goes straight down. I, I really don't save our food, you know? So preparation for an eating contest starts two days before. I'm in the gym two hours a day, six days a week. And the reason that's important is the phrase, you know, work up an appetite is a truth. It kind of gives you that edge. Get that appetite, so I'll go for a run or I'll do some weights or some kind of exercise to get a large amount of food down, you know. Mark's strengths are that he's really fast at eating, so he'll start a lot quicker than me. He trains for it. He actively goes out his way to be better at it but his weakness is that he can't eat as much as me. So today we're eating um, hot dogs. My tactic's always pretty much the same. I'll take the toppings first. So if that's chili, pulled pork, whatever it might be, I'll then go for the actual hot dogs themselves, the sausages, try to get those down and finish off with the bread. The time limit, I think, is an hour today. And basically the rules are eat as fast as you can. So when the food first arrived, I felt pretty confident. The first impression was that I was going to enjoy it. Like, it smelled really good. Yeah, I was ready to eat. Uh, tried to get in the zone. So in terms of tactics, I wanted to go with the chili first. Eat the sausages first, and the pork, and the bread. And then the hot dogs. But uh, it didn't turn out that way. I was a little worried at the beginning because Mark, you know, he'd taken half the hot dog down. I was still only a few bites in, really. As soon as I took the first bite into the sausage, I realized this wasn't going to be a winner. As soon as I saw him shake his head, I could see he'd hit the wall, and I thought, he's mine for the taking. <laughs> I just knew trying to get through seven pounds of that was just, like, not going to happen, so I quit while I was ahead. Yeah, really, it's you against the clock almost all the time, you know, and a lot of the time you've got to weigh up whether you want to start quickly or whether you're going to kind of pace yourself throughout. The first hot dog went down pretty easy. It was flavour fatigue that got me in the end. It was just I couldn't bring my body to swallow anymore. I don't feel fantastic. Um, the stomachs are quite a bit bigger than when I came in. This is the second time I've tried it and the second time I've failed it. I was slowly getting through it, but yeah, maybe an extra five, ten minutes I could have got it in at least, if not down. <laughs> but uh, yeah, never know. How's it going, guys? Today is the day where I get my first tattoo. I'm with the man, Dan. Oh, it is not as bad as I thought. Botox in my forehead, between my eyebrows, my eyes, sides of my face. I've had lip filler, chin filler, cheek filler. I've had my nose done, and I have regular vampire facials as well, which obviously Kim has done. 